Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin. I'm an interpretive naturalist for the Lake Metro Parks, and I'm currently in a restricted area of the gorge at Penitentia Gun Reservation. In a previous video, I showed you the lower half of the gorge, which if we zoom in over there, you can see what it looked like. Now I'm in the upper half of the gorge, so it's completely different up here. Every time I hike in this gorge and I see what's down here, it's completely unique from the time before that. So there's certain features of the rocks, certain things that we're gonna see that I wanna explore with you. So what you're seeing right now is what we call the flume. It's basically like one big water slide. And it's just one slick type of rock called sandstone, which is different from what was down in the lower gorge. In the lower gorge, we had siltstone and we had shale, which were different types of rocks that created waterfalls. Up here, we don't have that because we have one specific type, like I said, known as sandstone. Totally different. You're gonna find different plants up here, different rock formations. It's very unique. So what we're gonna to do today is we're going to slowly hike upstream and I'm gonna show you some cool features of this area. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hike further up and let's see what we can find. Okay, so we hiked up a little bit from where we started this video. And now what I wanna point out to you is this orange slimy stuff. What is it? So this is iron eating bacteria that is taking advantage of what's within the sandstone here. Within this rock, you're gonna find different elements such as carbon, calcium, iron, and other things that are in there. But this specific bacteria is taking advantage of that. It's eating the iron, which then fuels it and feeds it. Now you're also gonna notice that there's water coming out of it. The reason you have water is that this, the sandstone has pores within it that allows the water to seep out. So it's just all sort of, you'll see trickles coming on here. You'll see just natural water that's trickling out and you'll really, it's really cool to see. Also what you'll have in the winter time is you're gonna have these huge icicles that from that water seeping out, huge size of cars going from the top about 80 feet up and it'll extend down to where I'm at now. They're just huge, they're beautiful. So in the winter time, it's really neat to see. Now what we're gonna do though, is we're gonna hike a little bit further up and I'm gonna point a few other things out. And this is all about exploration, mind you. So we're gonna see what we can find. So we're gonna head on up, let's go. All right, we're continuing our adventure further upstream. And what I wanna point out to you here is the rock feature. So this here is a big rock face of the sandstone that I've been talking about in this video. What you're gonna see is these lines, these striations known as cross bedding. Now before this rock was solid and hard, it was actually sand particles. And over millions of years, this sand was pushed by wind or by a stream in one direction. And as time progressed over those millions of years, it created the hard rock. So each line you see here is millions of years in the making. As you progress up, we're at like 360 million years of rock. This is old rock. So it's really cool to see the really cool features. But the other thing I wanna point out is also what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing aside from these rocks. So you might be able to hear it in the video, but I currently hear what's called a Phoebe. It's a specific type of bird that will actually nest here, and it uses this rock face to build that nest. So in little corners, you can kind of see a little crevice here, you'll be able to see the mud nests that they build, made out of mud and twigs primarily, and they'll just kind of put them in the corner to kind of make it very solid and in a safe spot, and they'll utilize this to be able to raise their young. Other things I see are fish in the stream. I see trees that are growing around here. I see squirrels that are popping around. So there's a lot of wildlife that is utilizing this gorge. So basically what we've done is we've started in the lower area, we've worked our way up and we've progressed closer to the surface. Further down in the gorge in the previous video, we were 100 feet deep. As we've moved up, we're probably about 40 to 50 feet deep and we're eventually gonna meet up with the trails as we head upstream. But this is where I'm gonna leave you. This is where I hope that you had a fun time listening to this video and exploring with me. And I hope you come and visit us at Penn Reservation because there's a lot to offer here. We've got our trails, we've got our nature play area, and we've got a lot here to explore. So I hope to see you at the park sometime. Thank you.